everyone! Welcome to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name's Sarah Bridget, I am a makeup artist, and I'm here to show you how to colour correct like a pro. So, if you're a little bit confused about the whole colour correcting thing, about what the colours mean, or where they go, or whether you need to colour correct in the first place, I always ask everyone one simple question, and that is, are you getting what you want out of your foundation and concealer? Because if the answer is no, then you should probably start to try color correcting. If you have any kind of blemish, whether it's veins or bruising, blemishes, acne scars, rosacea, even sunburn, anything that you'd like to cover up or anything that isn't the color that you want your overall face to be, that is what you would color correct. So really, really, really simply, this whole color correction scheme is based on your very basic color wheel that you would have learned when you were so young. Just that red is opposite to green, orange opposite to blue, yellow to purple, etc. So all you need to do is figure out what color on your face you don't want there anymore and use the opposite color. So for example, if you have a blemish and that's red, you would choose green. Because what they do is they cancel each other out and that creates a neutral tone which will be the nice even tone that you see on your face after you have color corrected. So let me show you exactly how I do my color correction. So Maybelline has the Master Camo color correcting concealers. I have them in the shade yellow, green and apricot and the cool thing about these as well is that they literally say on the packaging what each color is used for and what type of skin tone to use it on as well. So right this very second, I have absolutely nothing on my face except for my eye makeup and my eyebrows. So today I'm going to color correct my under eye dark circles with the apricot shade. And I'm also going to correct that tiny bit of redness that I have through the center of my face with the green shade. So when I do my color correcting, rather than taking this and applying it directly onto my face, I actually take it on my ring finger, which is the finger that applies the least pressure, and I just pick up a tiny bit and dab that underneath my eyes really gently. I'm literally just knocking back those darker tones that I don't want to appear through my concealer. And also, because the skin under your eyes is so thin and delicate, you really don't want to pack it with lots of product because that's just going to make you more prone to creasing when you're layering it with your regular color concealer. Now hopefully you can see from here but I do experience a little bit of redness just around the edges of my nose and then also on my chin so I'm going to use my green concealer because that's the opposite color of the red and I'm going to use that to counteract all of those red tones through there so I'm just going to take that on my ring finger again and you can see now so that's just been knocked back that tiny little bit. You can't see so much redness now. And I just used literally the tiniest amount of product. So once you've color corrected all of the areas that you think need to be corrected, you can pretty much go in and finish with your foundation and concealer, but I do have a really helpful hint on how to make your color correction stay put so that you don't wipe it away while you're popping on your foundation and concealer. And that's simply just to use stippling or dabbing motions when you're applying the product so that you're not swiping it away from the area that you were initially placing it. For my foundation, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Formula. It is Amazing if you have oily or combination skin, I swear by it. And then for my under eyes, I use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one is particularly good if you are going to color correct because it's specifically designed for the under eye area. So it's nice and thin and lightweight, but it still gives you that coverage that you need. So this is the finished look after all of my color correcting work. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you in the next video.